Hey everyone, Lyles here, and in this video I will show you the main features of version 1.4 of Star Valor, which is coming in a few days. So the first thing is this, uh, the crafting. Crafting is has a new uh, crafting type right now, which is the blueprint crafting. Uh, basically every item in the game has a blueprint. Scrapping two items will give you the the blueprint like this see so you can do that for equipment for weapons and there is also the goods which are the items you will finally use scrap metal now because it's a base uh, item for pretty much everything uh, crafting related uh, the name isn't ideal I might change but for now it's scrap metal and there's also the refined metal and this is like a, like an elite version like let's say like let's put it like this it's like an elite version of scrap metal and you find it the same way like uh, you get it from uh, scrapping graveyards or or from drops like in hideouts or other other places and this is base item for crafting so you can finally craft uh, ammo like cannon vulcan missile and you will be able to craft these little items here which are pretty cool the upgrade kit works similar to a re to an ancient relic but it only upgrades the the equipment to green and then the upgraded uh, the improved upgrade kit uh, it goes up to blue and then you have the normal uh, relic which goes up to purple so now you can craft those and you need blue base components and microchips base components you, you will craft with uh, scrap metal and iron so the idea is that you need to go out and get scrap metal which is uh, the base component and some items which you find in stations like the iron or explosive for ca in the case of ammunition uh, and then you have the more advanced components like th this here the, the transmitter and the thermoregulators which you need refined metal for besides the base component so yeah this is the blueprint crafting is one of the changes and the custom weapon also received a new additions for now uh, f now for each component you add you get a free booster so if I add two blueprint blue laser cars I can add two range boosters they won't increase the space of the weapon of course the next one will and as you can see here we have two new 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 booster components which is the damage booster and it uses the refined metal which you, I showed you before so the damage booster is refined metal as just like the Nadolo mod which also uses refined metal so if you happen to find these they are rare they're not ultra rare but, uh, but they're hard to find and you can do the you can craft better weapons just simple as that so we have uh, like you can see here we have one, one free booster you can you can choose any uh, like a critical booster and then it only has two space instead of three like normally would so this is a new weapon i'm adding in this version the quantum pulse and i i already made a video about it which you can access here and the railgun is another one both has a video as a in the devlog uh, playlist and that's pretty much it so this is also new thing had workshops is it's kind of a, a secret station not very common to find where you can buy some blueprints as you can see it's for now it's the only place where you can buy blueprints it also has some purple items they are expensive but some are really worth it later on they will have uh, ships and maybe crew and other stuff but for now it's already pretty good to find blueprints and scrap metal it's the only place that sells scrap metal and also refined it th this one has a, a small chance to appear here but there are other items they can spawn here too but they are rare so it's a crafting place or station and later on I also intend to add the uh, special blue uh, crafting modifiers for each uh, workshop now you have another another thing to look at when you are exploring 
it won't spawn in in many places and the, the tin heads are mostly like dark sectors and the chance is a bit higher in, in uh, bigger sectors so it won't be that easy to find them you will eventually this is a new special crew member the Raylo of the Seas Age uh, it's pretty unique it causes damage to your ship as you can see here I'm thinking damage uh, but it's, it regenerates your shields a lot faster so you can do some special combinations with it it can be pretty strong in some builds it's kinda cool so another interesting feature for those who like to use fleets the ship captains will now try to pri prioritize pilot and gunner as their skills so if they don't have it they will try to learn it oh. Of course they need to be balanced or di diversified. Another thing is feet or karma perks, they now record your time when you when you lock them. Like here. It says best time in the bottom. So you can create some challenges or challenge your friends to see who, who has the best time for certain perks. And maybe later uh, I will I will do ranks or top charts for this for this kind of stuff maybe uh, for speed runners or <laughs> something related I think it gives no, new options for the players so another thing is the bonus space pilot now the 55 gives a critical chance when you have uh, active flux and when you don't have flux it gives a uh, damage resistance plus 10 percent so it's pretty good and the level 60 is just a cool pilot seat which is pretty strong if you have a big ship like a frigate or bigger ship uh, instead of a co-pilot you get a engineer seat which is also pretty good of course the co-pilot is better but another engineer can be great for big ships so i can have high tinker steve here <laughs> and zoe to give me the three space pilot bonuses which I want, I need for him. So I have Zoe and she gives me an extra like height and receive. Or we can have Team the Insane. Now all the space pilot bonuses are complete. Another new feature, the markets. Now uh, they are seed based. So when you get to a system, they are predefined. So you can't, you can't just save and keep reloading until you find the perfect market. <laughs> as you were able before the station also refresh the mission boards as you can see here and the academy some of you might might have noticed already but the crosshair is a big a bit bigger oh, I'm sure it will help more some people let's see what else I think that's basically it I just wanted to show most of the of the stuff in the patch notes you will get all the, the changes, all the features. I just wanted to show the main ones. So basically now there's a, not, a new path, uh, a new valid path for, for progression, which is the, the scavenger. Scavenger slash miner, so you don't need combat anymore to, to, get, uh, to, get, to improve your ship. You can rely only, only on mining or scavenging. Scavenging uh, will improve later on because graveyards will probably be, uh, be dynamically generated. For now, you have to scavenge graveyards, and this may this will improve later. I will probably add more places to scavenge. But you can pretty much do a explorer scavenger and, and not rely on combat or mix with mining, so you can get the, the components for crafting. You can find the blueprints. You can scrap things to get blueprints. You can craft better weapons with uh, scrap metal, refined metal, because now you have the now you have the components like the nodolos and the damage boosters. Of course, if you choose to go for combat, some of the components will still drop. For blueprints, for instance, these components can drop from enemies, from uh, hideouts like Marauders' hideouts. They can drop these fine components and transmitters. I also plan on adding uh, blueprints for ships here. They will obviously cost a lot of materials, but it's going to be a cool way to acquire your new ship. So this is the first 
crafting update the Mario come but we have a pretty solid car mechanics I'd say that's pretty much it oh and, and this is the other ship I there is a video in the channel you can check it out here this is the terror it's the red school battleship and it has this and as you can see it has a lot of pointed things to do this it's a pretty cool ship so yeah I think that's it this was the, f the second devlog video this update will come in a few days and I'll try to to make these devlogs at least at least once a month so I can show you more stuff and, and, and how I work in Unity so that's it and I'll see you on the next video